Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Uh, yesterday, when we put the piece on this side of the hood, it turned out fairly well. I wasn't expecting to do this side at first, um, but it's, it so happened, so we went with it. If Jolene wants to come down around here on the, from, the, from the front, and then you can see how, how nice it fits going along the side of the hood. How it fits nicer. I just got the magnets there to hold it together because uh, that's not bolted on or anything, just holding it up, but it fits really nice going down the side. Uh, we've got, I got a little bit welded along the top of the, of the hood, and this is what I'm doing. Um, we're doing a bunch of work out in, the, out in the building there, moving the cars around, moving the bikes, but he's kind of come get his car, from what I understand. We've had a few company coming in and helping out with the air system out there. But what I've been doing is going in plunk, plunk, plunk every four or five inches, and then taken off. So I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. That's how I'm welding up this side of the hood. I'm not doing anything in the bottom here, so I don't want the heap to rise up there, I don't think yet. I think what I'll do is when we'll get the hood off, we'll turn it up this way, and that's when I'll weld that, and we'll, we'll, when we'll weld that. But right now, this is cool as a cucumber, and I just come around, put four spots or five spots on it, and doing the exact same thing to this side. As I got thinking, I said, well, I might as well just finish up the hood and go for it. Um, but what has happened is, is I'm thinking it's going to be a different application to get this side on to mimic this side. Uh, the reason being is when I go to put this side on, I can't, I can't plunk it on down here and, and, and then go up here and then cut my axos off the middle. I can't do that because I can't get anything to get this piece of metal tied down like I vice gripped it on before and pried it down and put it under pressure. And you can tell it's under pressure because I've got a good hood going on. You know, there's no, I probably shouldn't knock on that like that, but I did. Um, I got a good hood going on there and there's nothing wrong. It's good and, good and sturdy. Um, it's under pressure. It's got the center raised up a little bit, which is fantastic. The reason being is we don't want it down. We can always, hammer it down a little bit if we had to or push on it or whatever if we want to do that we can but basically i'd rather have it up like this than down um, so on application on this side i'm going to take this side apart and pull these magnets off i'm going to pull that side back off the application on this side is going to be a little bit different i'm going to do the exact same thing when it comes to uh, welding this part up i'm going to do the exact same thing every once in a while I'll walk by the truck Apply, apply the apply the welder to it. I might even do a few plunks on it before I take off. But on this side, I have to take this side off. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Jolene woke up this morning, seven, looking like a ten and a half. She's an amazing lady. She is. She's an amazing lady. She is. Hurt herself this, yesterday getting wood. The wood fell on her. She said the wood does has no forgiveness. Hit her in the ankle and bruised her ankle. And uh, she said, where were you? I said, well, honey, where was I? I'll kiss it better for you. We're gonna take this side off. As you can tell, the window's covered up this time. <laughs> if you have any sparks that hit your window we have no sparks on it on the window whatsoever if you have any sparks that hit the window take a razor blade and lay it on its flat and scrape them off you do not want I'm just going to go for a second. You do not want, you have a razor blade like this. You do not want to get weld marks on your, on your window or anything like that. You do not. You don't want to hit with a grinder or anything like that. This, this window and this truck has got safety glass on it. But if you had any, any uh, sparks on your window or anything that was on your window, you would take and scrape it like that. So you can tell, you can hear there's no noise going on. There's nothing on that window. But if you have anything on your window, just take your razor blade. Lay it on its edge and go across it and, and scrape them off like that. Um, you can very easily ruin a window by using sparks in the welder. And I'm going to have to be more vigilant and more careful when it comes to that. So I do not ruin anything. Um, when it comes to a customer's vehicle, you want to be real vigilant because um, if they 
notice it and they don't like it, guess who's paying for it? You are. Not me, you. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Alrighty. Now we're gonna put this side of the hood on. So this is what I'm thinking. I've got the hood piece cut. I did not bend it yet because I want to bend it in front of your very eyes. I'm going to make sure I bend it for this side this time. I have this piece of, piece of flat stock going on here. I have to grind that down a little bit. I have a piece of flat stock. I have to grind down there a little bit, but this flat stock is here. I'm going to start it in the middle this time because then it will fit across the middle, and then we'll bring it down, and then we'll clamp it here. But if I do that, that's going to put all kinds of pressure on that, and that's going to bend on me. I know it. I know it. So what I'm going to do is, or what I'm thinking... I have a piece of metal here. I'm going to run that across. And I'm going to tack that just like that. And the reason being is I do not want to have that what a shape. And if, it have, if I have it under pressure from the other side, it might help it some. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. Different application for a different side. And then I'm going to put one probably here somewhere. And then we'll call it good. We'll just tack it from the inside. I can cut them off after. Just going to tack it. I'm hoping when we yeah when I'm hoping when we apply our clamps this piece it's not gonna take off on me I'm hoping Be square stock how you doing Fina oh, we should have a couple so I'm going to tack that one there. That had quite a bit of pressure on the top. You can see how it pulled it up. So if we have any pressure on this side, I wanted to put pressure on the other side to stop it from doing that. Best I can. I'd like to have one more if I could. Ba, 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 ba. Piece of round bar there. Open that a reach. Yeah, I'm going to knock it on. that off after 
metal's not going down past that. It's going down above it. So if we have any pressure when we clamp that piece on like we did that piece, it's actually going to put pressure on the other side and it'll help hold it. That's what I'm thinking. I should probably move the welder around to the other side. No doubt in my mind. I'll do that first. Once I get that piece bent, we're going to be going for it. Uh, if you... Yeah, it don't matter. Sometimes the hardest thing to do in a shop is to move the welder. Sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Alrighty. We'll get that undone. I asked yesterday, yesterday or the day before, I asked the, the guys that were doing the electrical, are you 33? Jolene never mentioned that. She's 33. Did you, baby? Huh? Baby's 33. You never. Oh, so you should have spoke up, girl. Um, let's get this piece here. I get my gloves on. I've got it already made. I got the roller. I never touched the roller. I left the roller exactly where it was before. So we should be good. On this application of putting this hood on this uh, this truck, um, we have a T grill going to a Model A front. So there, there is a difference. There is a difference. And now, let's get this going on right. Okay, we got a mark there, we got a mark there. Now I'm gonna mark that again. Because I... It's gonna go up a little higher. I'm not sure what um, you could you could look up and see what a hood and two sides cost um, if you if you're interested in buying them but uh, you obviously know I'm not <laughs> I'm going to roll this all the way through what's that sweetheart? Jeez, I hope so That's the back side. That's the front side. And I'm rolling up this way. She's just checking on me, boys. She was checking on me, and I don't blame her a bit. I don't blame her a bit. I'm just going to roll it through once. Give it a little bit of shape. Don't blame her a bit. I'm glad that she checks on me. Alrighty, we have a mark. Now, yeah. just want to do the exact same thing as I did last time. The same mark there. Put the same. Yeah. I roll that into about center. Yeah. Let's apply the apply the rip goo. that to me last time. Probably got too much there.
Stay up there. Have to do whatever's, whatever's necessary now. Have to do whatever's necessary. There we go. Now we're talking. Just had to make that. We need less on that. You know how to get less? Just like last time. Just like last time. Ribs a bit sore. Alrighty, I'm going to apply this in the center and then I'm going to roll it down over with what I got. It's going to stay there by itself, I think, I'm hoping. Alrighty, let's apply it. See what happens. I'm going to put it in the middle of that. Get that roll out of that. spot right there I don't like there you go a shot to the head never hurt nobody there we go <laughs> what do you think baby you like my hat wearing like that huh <laughs> okay I like having the gloves on, but sometimes it's kind of a, an aggravating thing. Alrighty. Try to place this hood on the best I can. What's that? I want to grind it? The edge. She got me, boy. She got me. I was going to say, what are you talking about? Yes, she's right. I have to, or I want to. It's good. It's good. I've got this edge down here I want to grind off. Yes, you're totally right. I was going to cut the metal off after, but that there I want to grind off. Thank you, sweetheart. She's watching me full time, boys. You know what would happen? I'd get it tacked on, and then I'd have to cut it back off. Or, yeah, I'd have to cut it back off. Tack, uncut the tacks. And that's not what I want to do. I want to knock this off first, and then we'll go for it.
kind of taking it back and forth. You know, it'll get hot on you. I don't want to blow it right up. You can see where I put the little piece of uh, round stock in there. Um, it did the trick. Now we'll do, we're gonna go back to placing the hood on. Thank you, Jolene, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Alrighty. Now, I'm gonna weld this. My plan this time is to weld the center and then put that side under pressure. Okay. Jolene was asking me, how else would you make a hood? Well, I suppose you could make a, a pattern and wheel one. Um, I'm, I'm thinking you could wheel one maybe. Uh, not interested in doing that or taking that time to do that. But uh, you could probably wheel one if you wanted to. Now, I am going to say that that's right where I want it. I got the first click on her. Just put pressure up on the... Now, when, obviously, if I weld this like this, it's obviously gonna put pressure on that piece of metal right to begin with because I'm gonna pry it down over. So it should be tight and right. So I'm gonna just go along and apply it down. I'm gonna lift it up with my knee. bit of weld there I gotta get rid of. I'm going to what do we have? Okay. We have the fleet line leaving today. And looks to me like they are here. So probably what's gonna happen is we're going to continue filming. And uh, that's what we'll do. We'll continue filming. You can watch the fleet line leave like I'm going to. All right, I got one there that's not fitting that well. So you can see how that's... I'm, I'm just gonna wait a second. They'll, they'll come in or knock on the door or something. I'm just going to knock this down the center. I want to apply this first. Ah. How you doing? <laughs> Fina, 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 stay Fina, stay Fina, no she's not going to bite you, no she's not going to bite you, I hear things in an attack and I do, you made her, we made her, all right, got an awful shock down the road, why, <laughs> went down and picked up the trailer, oh, they told him whole ridge, this $75 for, for that, yeah. For the day, five hundred and twelve dollars it cost me. Oh, for? Because yeah, I'm not taking it back. You were taking, dropping it off up there. They didn't tell us that. Oh. Or we'd have dropped one clear down. Oh, that's terrible. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna go to the go to the shop with you, but we're gonna we're gonna film the process of that thing taking off. If you don't mind? Yeah, no problem. Let's rock and roll, man. Let's go. Let's go and do it.
I've got a nice little peak going on with the hood. I think I'm going to like that. I think I'm going to like the peak. We get that brought down over. Get that rolled over. Man, we're cooking with gas. Right on. Let's rock and roll. Let's, we'll just go with this back door here. This is Larry, is it? Yes. Larry. Larry's the man that bought the 48 fleet line. Fina, same guys last time. Same guys last time. You didn't bring down no forge and drop them off to me. No, From what I understand, you probably could have with the price of the trailer. <laughs> oh, well. That's for sure, he says. And then they don't tell you that you're going to rent it for 48 hours instead of 24. Oh, all kinds of They get you, eh? We'll just pull this thing back out of the way. Uh, yeah, I'll just push her back out of the way. I haven't even touched it. The hood's still not even closed on it. You, you let the hood down and I yeah. just left it. I'm just gonna kick this wheel so it turns over there a little bit. In a second. These two Fords got married. Yeah. You couldn't tell, I like different. <laughs> if you didn't know, that's Jolene's chassis, so she, she, she was the one saying whoa. <laughs> Should be good. You can draw, you, yes, you can manage. Somehow, I was thinking about opening the door and diving in. I'm thinking that we can, I can put the, uh, we got a charger, I'll stick it on the battery and just drive right out. Yeah, we, we got a battery here too. Yeah, I, I know, but it'd yeah. be less work. No, no. We'll just sure, get, sure. I'll go get the charger. Yeah. I'll go get the charger. You enjoy the heat. Yeah. No worries. I'm just going to run down far as a truck. The microphone's so I'll just follow. Okay, I can walk down back. And... I'm just going to get the little one down on down in the truck. What's that, sweetheart? Oh, maybe just grab the big one then. It always works for that car. But we'll see. Oh, I like that hood. Man, the hood looks fantastic. It's coming. I'll just get them ready. We've used enough of these that I know that that has to be ready. It has to be laid out. Hey. Stop it. Every pull, I can feel my my inside. Let's have the wheel. Not sure if they're gonna want. They're ready. Come across the ferry, or do you drive? <laughs> which which do you which you have done? Like you rather drive or the ferry? Ferry. Ferry. Yeah. We were coming to go back by the ferry. You must have been driving. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna lay that on the fender if you don't mind. No. Because because it's your you know it, yeah. You're right, it has. <laughs> yeah. I usually lay that little one on it, but the big one should work. Now, I say that um, key in there. 
I know, it's just, it's the first twist I think. It is so? And we'll turn that on. First click. The key is if, no choke. Should take right off for you. Just a second. We got no. Yeah, you know, it should wind her over better, shouldn't it? Just want to see if I got her hooked up right. You, uh, we might be down. I'm gonna have to go get that other way. Try it. Spread off. Just give a cup pump the gas. You got your foot on the clutch, obviously. <laughs> Just give a cup pumps of gas. Just let get it idle in for a bit. Doesn't sound like it's got a doesn't sound just get it rough idling for a bit. She got gas leaking out of her right now, I see. I'm gonna pull that off. You see if you can get, see if you can uh, keep her going. Go to the door. I'm not gonna shut the hood. Just gonna leave it like that for a second. Try to drive out. It's all clear, is it, baby? Clear? Just go back a little, just put her. Should be able to make her now. You cut her hard. Okay, on that side? You got her now. I got her all set up for you. I have to get some suitcase and stuff out of the back, but we'll get that when we. But no, we'll just we'll get it after we get it loaded. Okay. Straight, oh that way. <laughs> good job, good job. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Whoa, whoa. You got her. You're the man I want driving. Huh? I had. <laughs> you did a good job, man. You did a good job. I'm going to grab the suitcase and a few other things out of there. Take our license plate off. I, guess we're on I got you all geared up, brother. You have. 
I did. I ha we use a lot. Of, we have used a lot of U-Haul trailers, yeah. and uh, we have. Yeah, you did a good job bringing that up on there. The hat can stay. The hat can stay. antique shop remember not sure why but we did and I got a plate what is all going in there it's holding that up it's holding the door up here hell it's holding the door up Seat's ahead. Seat's ahead, you can't shut the door. And I'm gonna get the plate off the back. Huh? Let's take these inside. What's that? You don't want to leave those in there, no? No. No? No, I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, I, I, I want to put them on. That would, that would look so nice on the front. <laughs> I'll sell it to you. How much? You, do you, are you serious? Yeah. I don't know if I want to sell it, Bill. What? Don't I don't. I don't. I don't think I do. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to put them up on here. Now I'm going to get, I'm going to try to find him a carburetor. And I need a screwdriver to get the plate off. Are you sure you wouldn't like to sell that? Well, I, I haven't got well. this, I haven't got this plate off yet. <laughs> I'm gonna look for a carburetor for you too. Uh, I got one. I'm, I'm gonna look. I said. Oh. The, your hood. Your hood is not shut. Yeah, $245. I should have just bought a new one. Why is that hood ticking on me? I have no idea. I just came in and went. You hear that? Uh. 716, so I'm thinking. Nope. 3 8. And 716, so I have the wrench somewhere. Protect with that wrench. Come in! Hello. How you doing? That's all right. Are you for the. Walk around out back, and we'll meet you at the other building. Just chained around the rear end, don't forget. Because I had before, and you know what happens? Rips your brake lines off. Well, yeah. Uh, no, I was thinking the bumper, rear bumper bracket. Mm -hmm. But, oh, no, that's okay. If anything has to be moved in there, we'll be in just a minute. I'm going to have to go get another 716 wrench. <laughs> That's what it always takes, isn't it? To get a plate off a car. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me see.
I rarely use that chain on the back and I'll tell you why. Because for some reason when you get home you usually forget it's on and you end up ripping your, ripping your brake lines off and it's not worth it to me. The front straps, I can't see them breaking off, but have it in park. Guys, you know what? To be to be honest with you, yeah. I don't need well you could wrap it around. Or put it up around the, wrap spring. around the spring. Yeah, that's the just one on this side. Yeah. yeah, wrap around the spring. And then clip it just uh, you know, it don't have to go all the way back there. You can clip it on the chain, you can clip it wherever you can fit it. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. I get I, de I generally don't even use them, to be honest with you. I think he paid you too much. All right, there you go. <laughs> you owe him a set of bug lights. I, I, I knew freaking well. <laughs> I'll tell you. You happy now? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, you almost took me. Almost took me out. That wouldn't turn, would it? No, nope, I'm gonna put that back on there. Of course not, he says. Now, if we can make a vote. No. And if you go the wrong way, then you'd have to wait, would you not? I'm not even sure what run them to. You got a phone number? No, don't. You don't. No. Well, if I get in the road, I can deal with. You'll have your own nuts and bolts. I just. Oh yeah. Yeah, just like in my pocket. Not that they're needed for anything, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go in there, put that plate in there, and then I'm going to go you look for a carburetor. You guys need a hand moving anything? Or? I don't think so. Thanks for the offer, though. There he is. So, yeah. How you doing, Jay? Do you want to check the front in case you have anything? I don't think I have anything in there, sweetheart. I don't, I, I've never really been in there, I don't think. I think you have to have the key to get in the damn thing. I don't think that I have oh, the carburetor for it. Ah, that might be the carburetor. Might be. No, I don't think so. That's a one barrel. I'm not sure if you had one or not, but if I had one, I'd just give it to him, right? It's not that I... No. No, that's not it. That's not it. be a one lunger if I had one. Uh -huh. Would that be it? 
That's got a breather on it. I don't think that's it though. What? I don't think that's it. Cause it's got a breather on it, but you'll. Okay. Is that it? It's a, it's definitely a six cylinder shell. Yeah, it's a later it's a later model, but it's. Do you want that? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Take it with you. Sure. Okay. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes. Good luck with everything. Yeah. And if, uh, you'll be fine. If you need those carbs, uh, I'll make you a deal. Okay. You put them on your car, I'll give them to you. If you put them on that Plymouth. There you go. Right on. And that uh, that guy in Sussex got them uh, 16 inch wire wheels. We got five of them, and I've got one home. So, okay. And they're good. Right on. I might be up to see ya. You got my number. Okay. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. Yep. Safe travels. I'm gonna miss it. Yeah. Oh, I got something else for you. Sack. Cylinder carb not here, but it's okay. These are a little better shape to come off that pony. Yeah. These are a little better shape than what's on that one. And you could have someone press them out, you know, while you're okay. playing. Sure. Thank you. No worries, thank you. Cold. I'm just gonna go in here shut over here and shut this door. Good one, guys. He's got her going out, no problem. Right on. <laughs> you don't want to let me drive, I guess. Safe travels. I'll make her proud. Right on, man. I'm acting like I'm not hurt. <laughs> what do you think? Get back at this? What, what are we at? 49. Four, oh, 49. Okay. Now let's apply this back on there. We got a man in there playing with her. That fits better this time on that side, doesn't it? Than last time. We got to get that down there like that and get that. We're cooking with gas. Let's run a little bit of a, I need to run a little bit of a zip cut. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp them down here. I'd hate to see the old car go, but in all honesty, we have enough cars right at the present moment um, and bikes to get the barn full. We still got a couple down the road. We still got the Pontiac. We just kind of, um, I'm sort of wanting maybe one to drive and the rest of them um, and we're going to leave room for the cars that we're building. We're, we're building cars all the time. Everything's going good. Something very beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, Jolene, but it's beautiful. Are you warm or cold? Want a jacket on? You're good? She's tough, boy. She's tough. down this on the back side and the front side at the same time. I need to cut some of this all the way around.
calls for here. You're welcome. For you, anything. Come on. Caught up in that blanket, I'll know it. All right. Apply the fluid. So we're also going to have to cut the bottom off. You can tell it's too long, or I can. I can. I think I'm going to get the hand. No, I'm going to get the other one. To... Just want to press that down so it's tight and right. I'll go two on this side, and then two on the other side, or on the front side. Stay tight. I'll come a little head further, because I'll work it down together. This is where a fellow gets hurt. Or I did last time. It's where the, where the pressure is right here. Dent in that, yeah. Probably didn't want to, but it happened. There we go. Probably would help. And that's gotta be cut. That's what's holding me up too. Ha! I didn't. That's okay. I'm saying it's okay, but now I have to cut this off. Now, that's letting me know how far. I'm going to cut it off at that line, at the top line, I think. It's going to be too long on this side if I cut it, even if I cut it off at the top line. But, you know what I should have done is cut these off flush so I can get it in there. Let's see if that one's here. Um, I'm going to cut this off. zip cut and I'll cut that square stock flush with the flat bar there and then we can bring it down over wasn't quite paying attention a lot going on right because a second never thought or I would have made sure I welded on that way I thought of it anyways just carry on We're going to leave that welded, but we're just cutting it off flush so I can clamp it down on. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, move it back this side. So I gotta make sure it's down tight. If it's not down tight, well it ain't right. Um, I'd rather put it in my guts and my ribs this time because it's that didn't work out so good. I got hurt. Here we go. Beautiful. Ha ha. I like that. Nope. Can't do that side. It hurt too much. Ouch. Good. Went good. Ow. <laughs> Put it in my arm. Probably should have had underneath my arm before. That feels looks good there, too, doesn't it? Might as well nail it. Before I go through the radiator. All right, this is where it's at with the... Now, I'm up there quite a ways. I'm gonna cut that off, I'm gonna draw a line, cut it off and clamp it. <laughs> Mold it, okay, looking good, looks good. Just going to, it's too long. Uh, right at the present, we're still up in the center of the hood. That's, that doesn't bother me any at all. That just means... We've got a nice area going there. We're going to have a nice peak going on. It's good. Um, I need a marker. Let's weld it right down to the corner. And down to a little bit lower than that. I'm thinking it's right there. Right there. Right there. Gonna bring that down some. I got it, I think. I think I do. Hope I do. I'm gonna cut it off. It looks the same all the way along, that's a good thing.
leaving the line. I don't want to cut it too short, so I'm leaving the line. Well, I'm saying perfect, but a little bit long right there. I'll be able to sand that out with the sander. I'm sure I can. Got a nice two little clamps going on here. Alright. Let's, let's go in the center first. Why not? Um, I had another pair of clamps. Don't want to weld that square stock there. Just want to weld the metal. I can see I can see the edge of the flat stock that's coming down around there. I can take a little bit off that. Uh, with the flapper wheel just to get that little ledge out of there it's just a, like a little tiny ledge going on and i will get that i'll get that with a flapper wheel that part when it comes off. Fitting so good now, the clamps are falling off.
We'll get the ends when we snip the hood off. Actually, let's take it back here. I'll leave the corners so I get the hood off. Good. Now, I guess basically that's that's the hood. I can't put the hood sides on now because I got that bar in there. I'm going to have to uh, knock the hood off uh, to cut those bars out. And the ridge just turned upside down. Actually, I could. No. I'm going to have to cut it off, get it up. Yeah, I possibly could, but basically I'm just going to leave, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, but that's the hood. And put the hood side on. I can't put the hood side on because that bar's in there. So I'm just going to continue on uh, where this is really cool here. Just continue on. Um, just to make sure it's cool all the time. I'm going to save that for the end, or I might do a couple of it's on there. That'd be about it, and a couple down this edge. You can see where I was bending it and went down over top of that square stock there a little bit. And there's like a little ledge on that, and that'd be so simple to cure. I'm going to show you how I'm going to cure it. And I'll cure it after I weld it up, but I'll just show you so you'll know. Use an 18 gauge, remind yourself. I can take a little metal away to take that line out of it. It'd be just as simple as this. Hold the grinder flat. And we'll take it away. It'll take that away. It almost, uh, basically, uh, it'd be the exact same thing as if, if I took a, a file and filed a little bit of metal off to get that out of there. But I'll make sure I weld that all up and then we'll grind it flat all the way along. Uh, we'll take a little bit off that to get that little crease out of there where it bent down over the thing. But all it did doing that is made that tighter. Uh, if you like what you've seen, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, you come back tomorrow and uh, we'll do another one. But we had to, we had to really want, we really wanted to show you the hood going on this side because there was a different application. Uh, just because this side went on this way, uh, I couldn't do that on this one. I had to start from this part and do it on this part. But I had to do a little bit down here to make sure this stayed in place and that stayed in place to get where I'm going. So next time you come back, we probably will have something that looks... Um, quite nice up front and then we'll be moving on to something else. Okay, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming back um, I'm gonna probably have a little bit of seller's remorse with the 48 fleet line going um, but we're, we're building so many cars here that we have Maybe enough room to house some of them, but we have we have Alva still yet We still have the Bugatti yet. We still have the truck yet. We still have the 40 over Plymouth over there We still have uh, the cab over truck going. We still have the Jaguar. We got lots to do. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for coming back. Like, subscribe, comment. Hood. Have a great day.